right, hello friends and fellow drivers, OG Transporter 828 here. Look, I am so sorry that you've been lied to, okay? Uh, I am getting more emails from people and they're explaining to me these different things that have been happening to them. And I am so sorry that that has been happening. Uh, it's, a, it's a shame and it's a sin, you know, to for people to be treating other people this way. It's, it's just horrible. Look, you cannot start out at a company with zero experience. You have a, a brand new license, right? And uh, you have no driving experience, but you have a license. You are not going to make $100,000 a year. You're not going to make $60,000 a year more than likely. You're, it's a lot of money you're not going to make, okay? And the reason why it's a lot that you're not going to make is because you don't have enough experience yet, right? So I'm trying to help you get through this process that you're going through, this period where you have to show and prove because you do have to show and prove, right? You have to show up and you have to prove that you can do the job. There is no company that has been around for a long time who does not expect the show and prove. You have to do it. So it's only one way to pull that off. You can be a good talker, but you can't fake it until you make it. There's no such thing. You will get killed out here. You will get killed and you'll kill others out here. I've seen... I've seen way too many accidents. I, I've seen way too many fatalities. This is nothing to be playing with. This is something that could end people's lives. Understand that uh, if you're doing restocking work at... Costco or Sam's Club or you know whatever the deal is more than likely nobody's going to get killed by a person's lack of attention to something unless they're putting together those big old orange racks right you're not going to get killed because uh, you know somebody put the toilet tissue in a different location than it normally is nobody's going to get killed you will kill somebody out here with these trucks. You yourself could get killed because of somebody else's inattention, right? Yeah. I pulled up beside some guy who was full-fledged texting on his phone while he's going down the hill at 83 miles an hour. I watched him. Let me explain something to you, right? You can't do stuff like that. And the insurance rates, you know, this is this is why you don't make any money as a new driver. Because a new driver is worth less to a company than an experienced driver. That's why you don't get the money and that's why the experienced drivers do. The experienced drivers with no accidents, they get top dollar. Somebody like myself, there's plenty of me's out here. There's uh, tons of me out here, okay? Uh, top dollar, 100 plus a year, no problem. No problem. And the reason why it's not a problem is because the companies realize that this person who's been driving for a few decades, they're not gonna make those mistakes if they're in good health and they're not like crazy or something like that. They're gonna do just fine. So tell you what, you're gonna have to put your time in. And I know time is, is a problem for some of us, right? Some of us don't want time to be involved. We just want it now. We just want it to happen right now. This thing has got to happen now. Well, this is this is not the job where it happens now. It don't that don't happen now. Okay. 
That's not how it works. This truck is not a place where you're making, you can zip, 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 zip. That's not what this is about. That's why some of us see the other drivers flip over. How you flip over in a parking lot? Yeah, well, it's, it's possible. Why are you crashing into stationary vehicles in a truck stop? What is your, what's your deal? You don't know what you're doing and you're out here trying to hustle and hurry and make it happen and then you crash and you don't know what else to do, right? You get stuck. We all saw the video of that uh, Wendy's, the guy that was in the Wendy's drive through in the truck, right? We all know that that's who that was that was outside of the truck wearing the uh, safety vest, right? Looking at the truck and he's facing Wendy's looking at the truck, right? He was being pushed and hurried and he made some bad decisions. And that's where it, where it got him. So, no, he's not going to work again. What are you talking about? No. Goodbye. <laughs> this is not the place for that. There's too much at stake. I say it over and over again. So, I'm sorry you've been lied to. I'm not lying to you. I'm going to tell you the truth. It's going to be uncut. And it's probably going to be sometimes some things you don't want to hear. But you know what? There's not a lot I can do about that. I'm just going to tell you the truth and let you deal with it as it is, okay? All right, so that's all I got to say for tonight. I got to go to sleep because I got some work I got to do tomorrow. So I'll talk to everybody later, and I hope you can figure this out. All right, bye. Talk to you later.